Good morning! Today, our goal is to try to understand the forces acting on this character. So let's commence operations. These are some of the topics we've covered in the past. And right now, we're going to focus on a force called the normal force. So what is the normal force? Well, it's the support force a surface exerts on an object when in contact. So in this case, this character has a force of gravity acting on him, also called the weight, pulls him down. But there has to be a force counteracting that, because if there wasn't, he would actually keep falling. That force that counteracts the force of gravity is called the normal force. I like to also call it the support force. How large is the normal force? Well, the acceleration in this situation is zero. The character is not moving up or down. The character is posing for a selfie. In this situation, when the acceleration is zero, we say the forces are balanced. What does that mean? It means that the weight, or the force of gravity, is equal to the normal force, the support force. These two vectors are the same. And notice they're drawn the same length. It's important that if the vectors are equal, the lengths of these vectors should be drawn the same. So you may be asking yourself, is the normal force always equal to the weight of the object? Is the normal force always equal to Fg, the force of gravity? This is a question that students often ask, and sometimes it's really easy to just think they're always equal. But that's not the case. So the answer is no. No, 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 no. No, they're not always equal. In fact, more often than not, they're not equal. So for this situation where a car is parked on a hill, let's examine why they're not equal. So we have the force of gravity, or the weight, acting downwards. It always acts downwards, regardless of whether a car is parked on a hill or on a flat surface. So which way does the normal force act? Well, it actually acts at an angle to the hill. And now, let's explain why it's called the normal force. In mathematics, Normal means something at a 90 degree angle, or perpendicular. So in this case, as you can see, this vector is perpendicular to the surface. And so because these two vectors don't line up, because they're not exactly opposite in terms of their direction to each other, there is no way in this situation that the normal force will be equal to the force of gravity. So, Please watch the next video on normal force to learn more details about it.